this is an RD1000 from Dell. I like these devices. They're a hard drive backup built into a cartridge. You get the convenience of a tape, the reliability of a hard drive, and it's relatively shock proof. Dell makes these, Imation makes ones called the RDX. But, can you hack it? The cartridges are interchangeable between the RDX and the RD1000. They're pretty expensive devices, so there's a temptation here to hack this device and get a little more storage out of it. A basic terabyte drive can be had for right around $100. If you buy the RDX or the RD1000 terabyte drive enclosure, the cartridge, uh, you're looking at around $200, $250. The cartridge is this unit right here. This one is a client's cartridge. Uh, we did a little experimenting with this. I did a little research on a web and the web said it couldn't be done. So I took that as a challenge and went ahead and tried it anyway. Obviously these days 160 gigabytes is not enough to back up a server. The cartridge comes apart very quickly with a T6 Torx screwdriver. Inside the cartridge clamshell you can use the, the cartridge label as a hinge. Inside the cartridge you'll find a standard looking 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. The cartridge lifts free easily. It's got a pair of silicone bumpers that just peel right off. And here we have a Fujitsu 160 gigabyte serial ATA drive. It appears to be totally standard, doesn't appear to be anything crazy. So the temptation is, hey, why can't I throw any other drive into this system like a terabyte Fujitsu drive or Hitachi for that matter or whatever flavor you like. What I found when we did substitute another drive in here, the drive doesn't show up as something the system can initialize. So what that's telling me is one of two things. Either there is some proprietary way that these Fujitsu drives are configured in the BIOS or in the way that they're formatted that only allows the RDX or RD1000 to recognize that drive. After messing around with this cartridge, we threw a spare terabyte 2.5 inch drive that we had around into the system and it, it wouldn't initialize, it wouldn't recognize the drive. We tried it on a Windows 7 computer, we tried it on a Windows 2008 server. I also tried it on a Ubuntu Linux system to see if I could get that drive to recognize through the RDX device. There was no go, nothing recognized it. I'm not gonna say it is impossible to upgrade the cartridge to a larger drive, but what I will say is for my purposes and probably most IT guys' purpose, it is not worth the time and effort to go through finding a way to upgrade this. New cartridges can be had for as little as $150 if you go down to the 500 gig cartridge, if you're willing to look around a little on the internet. Cost savings just doesn't appear to be there for me. The time savings, the hassle of going through this and uh, trying to hack it and make it larger than, than it was intended to be. We're gonna try and find another solution for this client because the client just doesn't wanna spend $260 per device to upgrade their backup. 
Hoping this helps a couple people that are running into this or looking to uh, perform this hack. In my estimation, it's not worth the time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe below. Bye.